Einen guten Morgen, ich bin dann der Prof von Luxemburgisch with Anne. Und hier ist eine neue Lektion. Now, in this lesson, I want to talk about pronouns referring to things. These are small words which are sometimes confusing my students. Therefore, I thought it would be a good idea to have a weekly lesson about these pronouns. Was du prat? Are you ready? Dann los! The personal pronoun refers to a specific person, to people or to things spoken about. Pronouns are simply small words which replace a noun. Let's immediately illustrate this with an example. Da das de Mark. Now, if you don't want to repeat de Mark in your next sentence, you can replace it by the personal pronoun hien. So, he in English. So, hien as acht joa al. So, da das de Mark, hien as acht joa al. Now, in this lesson, uh, you will learn all you need to know about the pronouns referring to things, so objects or animals spoken about. <clears throat> uh, I have another lesson on my blog where I explain all about the personal pronouns referring to people uh, or persons. Okay, was du prat? Are you ready? Dann lass. Now, in English, you would say it, but in Luxembourgish, it could be an, the, or it. Depending on the gender of the um, noun, they replace. Let's start with the pronoun referring to feminine things. The. Now listen and repeat after me for the correct pronunciation. The. Okay. Now let's imagine uh, that you are at work and a colleague of yours asks you, um, um we viel lauer as Trainion? Now a Trainion is a feminine noun. And um, you can answer by repeating Trainion, for example, um, Trainion as um Zwoawa. But in natural spoken Luxembourgish, you won't repeat uh, Trainion. Instead, you would replace it by the pronoun the. So the, fem the feminine pronoun referring to feminine uh, things. So it would be the as um zwoawa. The as um zwoawa. And in spoken Luxembourgish, you would even more say thus. So you will hear thus um zwoawa. Let's have another example with an animal. For example, a cat in Luxembourgish is eng cat. So it is a feminine noun. So you can say cat as chain. But if you don't want to say cat, you can replace it by the. The as chain or thus Shame. Let's move on with the pronoun referring to masculine things. This is un. Now listen and repeat. Un. And be careful, as this pronoun is ending with an n, it is subject to the n rule. If you don't know what the n rule is, you can head over to my blog where I have a lesson about the n rule. Okay, let's have an example now uh, with the pronoun referring to masculine things. Let's imagine that you want to buy the mobile phone of a friend of yours and you ask your friend, wie viel verkaufst du den Handy? Now your friend may answer by uh, repeating the word den Handy. Den Handy is a masculine noun and so he could say, ich verkaufe den Handy für 250 Euro. But in spoken Luxembourgish, we would replace the handy by the pronoun un, referring to masculine things. So we would have Ich verkaufen a für 250 Euro. And in more natural Luxembourgish, Ich verkaufen a für 250 
Euro. Now listen and repeat after me, just to really hear the E uh in the sentence. Ich verkaufe für 250 Euro. Ich verkaufe für 250 Euro. Let's have another example. For example, the chocolat, so the chocolate, is a masculine noun. So you can say, the chocolat is good. And if you want to say another sentence with the chocolat, you can replace, uh, replace it by un, un is good, un is good, un is good. Okay, great. Let's move on with the pronoun referring to um, neuter things. And this is ut. Ut. Let's imagine that you have a conversation with a friend and you ask your friend um, where his new flat is. For example, um, wo is uh, dein Appartement dann an der Stadt? And your friend can answer by repeating the word d'appartement. D'appartement is a neuter word, so we can say uh, d'appartement as zu bonewege. But you can as well replace d'appartement by the pronoun referring to neuter things. So you can say et as zu bonewege. Et as zu bonewege. And um, in spoken Luxembourgish, sometimes we will say et as, we would skip the e of the et and we would have das. Das. Das zu bonewege. Let's have another example with a neuter noun. For example, the house in Luxembourgish is taus. Taus as ziemlich neu, or you can say das ziemlich neu. Das ziemlich neu. Okay? Easy, isn't it? And now we have to talk about the pronouns referring to plural things. And this is as well the, like the pronoun referring to feminine things. Let's imagine that you are at, at a, a restaurant and uh, you want to know where the toilets are. So you can ask, wo sind Toiletten, wann ich gelift? So, Toiletten is a plural noun, and the waiter can uh, answer by repeating the word Toiletten. Toiletten sind um echte Stock. But uh, in spoken Luxembourgish, you would replace Toiletten by the pronoun the. And so you would have the sind um echte Stock. The sind um echte Stock. An anat Beispiel, another example. Um, Kleder sind al. If you don't want to repeat Kleder, you can say the. The sind al. Okay, great. Now let's finish this lesson with an exercise Übung. I will give you now three sentences and you will have to uh, fill in the correct pronoun. And uh, please write your answers in the comments below so that I can give you my feedback, okay? And if you want to practice more, you can head over to my blog and under this lesson I have added more sentences for you to practice. And you can even download the whole transcript of this lesson, so to practice, okay? Was du prat? Satz Nummer eint. Wo sind Tasen? Sind am Kische scharf. So you have to replace the noun Tasen by the correct pronoun. Satz Nummer zwei. Hast du mein Brüll gesehen? Nein, ich schon nicht gesehen. Satz Nummer drei. Wie viel kostet Tlucht? Kost 99 Euro. Great! I hope that this lesson was helpful and don't forget to practice with a lot of other exercises I have on my blog. Now, thank you for listening and for watching. Merci für die Nachlaustern und für die Nachgucken. Adieu!